Then the last speech is what? The climax was when he surrendered Isaac. It's been a life of surrender. When he surrendered Isaac. How many of you, of you think that is, he, 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 Abraham was smiling the way, day he had to send the wage man? His smile was his son. Oh. How many of you know? Eh? The only one he knew before Isaac came. Before the seed of the promise came. He was the only one he knew. He grew up with him. While he was an infant, he was used to him. Some of us read these things casually and you think it is easy. But it takes a heart that loves God to do these things. Those things are tests of your love for God. A strange woman will lead you to a strange land. Isaac. And God was very sure to specify before you think it's another person. Isaac, your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, is the one I want. So, Abraham climaxed his obedience to God and submission to God when he yielded to sacrifice Isaac. Are you here? Then God knew. My covenant, you know, in the scriptures you read, the fact that God has made a promise to you has not yet made it an established covenant. You have your role to play. You hear God say, and I will establish my covenant with you. I will establish my covenant with you. Sometimes he said, confirm the covenant with you. I will establish the covenant with you. Um, so that's what happened that day on Mount Moriah. Right from Genesis 12, Abraham had been carrying the promise, covenant promises of God. Then the seed of the promise was born. And God tested Abraham whether he lost me enough to sacrifice this covenant seed, to sow it. And he passed the test. God said, now nah, I know. Now I know. He said, because you didn't withhold this from me. There are sacrifices God will not overlook. It's not about gathering to eat and drink and talk and all those eulogies. I've told you, if things are going the way you don't expect in a family, if things are going wrong as a believer, check for areas first before you begin to consult a native doctor, whether it's your uncle or your stepmother. Check, check these areas first. Number one, do you worship God in that family? In your family, is your family made up of worshippers of God? Two, do you pay tight in that family? And when I say this, I tell you in recent times, it doesn't matter what that the priest says. I was in a bus going for youth service. I was saved in my last year in the university. Later that year, God called me into ministry after I left school and I was preparing for youth call. God's called me. That was the first time I received his call. And as I was in a bus from Onicha to Joss, I served in uh, Bauchi from Onicha to Joss. I was in that bus and God spoke to me clearly. Not, no preacher told me. I've just left school and God spoke to me, from now on pay your tithe. So how can I and this was 1987. I'm not preaching it so that you pay. But I advise you to give tithes. It's not even pay. It's not something you're paying. It's God's own. He said, the tithe is mine. Give it to me. He said, it's mine. He said, dedicated thing. He said, give it to me. So God spoke to me. He said, from now, this is, I quote him verbatim. From now on, he said, what he said, from now on, pay your tithe. That's what he spoke to me. And I started as a youth copper. Uh, allowance then was 200 naira. So, and I joined the Bauchi Coppers Fellowship. And before we dispersed at the camp, they told us we had to remit our tithes and our offerings. They said tithe of 20 naira now, an offering of 10 naira monthly. I kept that. One day I visited a, a friend of mine who was in the same higher school with, with us then. He was a physiotherapist and was working in, uh, working then in Bauchi. Um, a general hospital there. So I visited him, and while I was with him there, somebody came, one of the officers of the Bauchi Coppers Fellowship, came there, and when he, my friend introduced us, he said, you're the one that is always sending your tithe monthly. I didn't miss one month, 
and I've been tithing. We teach our children to tithe. Whatever you are, make sure we tell them. Let's rise. I want to speak simple blessings over your life. Thank you for what you have done. In blessing, he will bless you. Make room for that blessing. In blessing, this season, you've entered a new, a new phase of your life where the going will be easier for you. In blessing, God Almighty, who sent me, who you honored in honoring me, he will bless you beyond what you could think about. Yeah. Expect it is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. In the same way, joyfully, it was, it was a sacrifice. I'm sure it didn't come easy for some of us. But you made it. I tell you, God is pleased with what you did. It's not the first time you've given me a gift, but there is something about this moment that honored God. May God Almighty open up the windows of heaven over you and visit you and your family with a regime of blessings that all around you will notice. In any way you have been denied this time, you will have surplus. You will have surplus. I speak the blessing into your life. I speak the blessing into your home. I speak the blessing into your family. I speak the blessing over the works of your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. I call you blessed by the word of the Lord. I call you blessed by the word of the Lord. I call you blessed by the word of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the God that blessed Abraham and multiplied him now bring multiplication in your life. And the Nolivet Bible Church. The blessing of the Lord makes rich. It brings increase. And he has no sorrow with it. From now on, your blessing will make rich. Multiplication, increase. Take your mind off it. Somebody thinks he has been blessed already. You've not known it yet. When you're really lifted up, all we see it. You can't hide it. Get ready. Because... The favor of God will do in your life what you never thought possible. Yeah. That's the era you're entering into. Yeah. And that's the era this church is entering into. Yeah. Multiplication is coming to you. Yeah. Multiplication is coming to you. Yeah. Increase is coming to you. Yeah. By the blessing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Where you have been denied prior to this time. You will no more be denied. You will no more be denied. You will no more be denied. You will no more be denied.